Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some arena, and we are back to playing some arena finally. I uh, finally got to play for a little bit and get a few more wild cards, so I'm going to be playing a deck that I've been playing in paper. I've been wanting to play on arena for quite some time, but just didn't have enough wild cards. I still don't even have it fully complete, but that is Simic Flash. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm missing from it. I pretty much have everything. Uh, this deck may be a little a bit out of date. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Let me uh, switch this layout so you guys can see it. There we go. Uh, the one thing I am missing is uh, one of the land cards. Which one is it? Uh, it's the temple. Uh, I don't have it in here right now. So I think it's Temple of Milady or something. Whichever one is the Simic version of the temple. I would love to have those dual lands. Uh, right now, I just have Simic Guild Gates, four of them. We've got four Breeding Pools as well, and we got two Fabled Passage. Uh, making sure your mana in this deck is correct is a huge deal. Making sure you're setting up to get to four mana is a very big deal, because you want to get to four mana for Furled Mystic, but more importantly, uh, one of the bigger win conditions, which is Night Pack Ambusher. Make us tokens at uh, the end step, wolf tokens, all sorts of good stuff. Won plenty of gains with this card, so it's very important to get your mana right early on and get to that four mana. Uh, other stuff we have in the deck, again, I don't know if there's maybe some additions uh, to the deck now that Theros is out. I'm sure there is, like, I'm sure there's a place for Omen of the Sea in this deck. Um, I'm just playing it how I have it in paper right now, and this is how I have it running in paper. So we've got Sinister Sabotage, four of, Brazen Borrower, four of, Brineborn, Cutthroat, four of, Wildborn Preserver 4 of, Negate 2, Unsummon 3, Opt 4 of, again you're going to want to get in there with uh, early card draw and get your lands right, so that's why that's in there. Like, I'm considering maybe replacing Opt with Omen of the Sea, but it is a nice turn 1 play, just to do something on turn 1, and then we've got Spectral Sailor, which he could potentially get cut to, maybe for Omen of the Sea. He doesn't do a whole lot uh, besides draw you cards in the late game, and Omen of the Sea uh, it might be better. It might be better because it does about the same, but it's an enchantment too. I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know what you guys think, but this is what I have running in the deck so far. I think we're playing with 24 lands, something like that. Uh, and the rest is pretty straightforward, uh, other than missing the more uh, <laughs> required and uh, better dual land uh, that lets us scry into more lands and other better cards, which is why you want that card over Simric Guildgate. This will do for now, but the scry is definitely something that's helped me a lot in just you know going through our mana correctly and, and getting set up correctly so we're just gonna have some fun jump in play some best of ones and uh see how we do keep earning i need like four more rare wild cards for these temples and i just can't do it can't get these wild cards i've got so many mythics but no rares i know i say that every time i, I play arena i'm sorry but uh was on here practicing with the deck and it wasn't playing too badly i won a few games uh, so i was like you know what we're not gonna wait any longer i've got all the other cards it's good to go let's do this another deck i would love to try out that i just have no way of getting the wild cards for right now is the thassa's oracle deck or the the mono blue devotion deck kind of with uh thassa deep dwelling thassa's oracle agent of treachery it looks like a lot of fun looks looks like a lot of fun uh but that is Something I'm pretty far away from as far as wild wild cards go to to uh, to getting. So we'll see. But we're gonna we're gonna play some Simic Flash and see how we do. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If uh, you do like the Simic Flash build, you want to see me play more of it in the future, leave a like on the video, leave me a comment, let me know. We're waiting a full minute here. Holy cow, it's crazy. My hair's a mess. I don't care. I do not care. My beard's on point. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Straight to a draw. I've never seen that before. We're already starting off fantastic. Let's try this again. Maybe I'll have to edit this video a little bit. Narrow it down till we get some, some matches. I swear I wasn't waiting before. All of a sudden I'm waiting. Alright. Love this deck. Like I said, it's uh, it's done a very good job. You pretty much always want to start with blue in your hand uh, for your one drops and stuff. So we're gonna mulligan this. It's not a great opener. This is uh, this is a keepable hand and oh, that's tough. 
it's tough. We're very... I kind of want to keep all the lands because we're very close to Night Pack. Very good strong cards right here, especially Wildborn Preserver. I would like to have the Opt. Um, I think we're going to dump the Opt, though. I think I like everything else, so I think we'll run it like this. Put down this, tapped, ass, see what happens. Been playing a lot of white. A lot of white. Everybody's trying to jam that uh, god card, I think. So we will go ahead and just try to eat this healer hawk if we can. Looks like we'll be able to. I'm fine with that. Sounds good to me. See if they're stuck on mana. Nope. All right. We're playing some black. And we've got our four mana for Night Pack Ambusher, which is excellent. So next turn, we'll be able to play Brineborn, pump up our Wild Poor Preserver a little bit if we choose to do so, unless we need to bounce something, which if, in that case, we'll, we'll just bounce something. Midnight Reaper. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about that, so we'll, we'll let him have that. Flash this in. We'll take the action. We'll pay one. We'll just give him a little bit bigger. There we go. And now we have two night back pack ambushers, which is super, super good. So we're going to start flashing those in and just get a bunch of tokens cranking. Unfortunately, we're up against black, so they probably have some decent removal against the night pack. Uh, but we have two of them. So you know, if they kill one, we'll get another one. It'll be all right. And our Brineborn's just going to keep growing. Every time we play something on our opponent's turn, it gets a counter. And for this one, you can pay X whenever a non-human creature comes in. And if you do pay X, you put that many counters on it when uh, the creature enters. So, really good pumpy pumps. This deck plays really well, in my opinion. I don't know if it has a place in the meta right now. Um, or, like I said, if it has any additions that would make it better. But looks like they're trying to decide what to do with my board. I know they're getting scared. It's a little scary, I know. We'll be all right. We're gonna pass. We're gonna attack in. I'm gonna... I could flash in Night Pack, but I'm gonna just go ahead and say no blocks, let it through, see if they play something else. I kinda want them to be tapped out. All right, another Midnight Reaper is perfectly fine. I do, last thing I wanted to do was, you know, put him in and then he just dies. Uh, and we'll decline that. We can't do anything. Negate is really nice. Uh, so. We'll go ahead and swing in here. We'll just swing in there. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll take four. We'll get a token. We can't play anything on our turn if we want the token. If we play something... On our turn, we do not get the token. Hmm. No, we're going to decline. Oops. Paid zero. Confirm. <laughs> we paid zero. Oops, I should have just declined that. Um, so, let's see what happens here. Well, we are in great shape. We've got protection. We could always bounce something and negate something else if we really want. Looks like they're going to go for some kind of removal, which we will protect. We'll protect our stuff. Four mana. A magic number right there for this deck. If you can't get to four mana, you you still can pull off wins all the time with like a huge Brineborn, but really want to get to four mana. Ever you gain life, huh? Sure, you can have that. You're gonna start chump blocking really soon. By turn, we're gonna throw another night pack down. Everything's gonna get real big. Decline that. Another trick we can do too is pump him up mid combat, but I think we are just going to swing out here. See what happens. 
They can do some double blocks, but we're getting in for a lot of damage. Those are good blocks. We're taking 14. Holy cow. Gnarly. This is good. I like everything that's happening here. They go to one life. And we get... Oh, they just killed themselves. <laughs> I forgot about the Midnight Reaper <laughs> trigger. Uh, okay, well, yeah. That was bad for them. <laughs> Alright, game one. Let's go to uh, another game here. <clears throat> Got me some yummy, yummy tea. Some orange vanilla dream tea. Yorba Mites. Uh, this hand is keepable. It's not my favorite hand. Not my favorite hand. I want to crack this open, but it's too cold. I don't like cold drinks. I like things room temperature. And that's just how I am. Oh, cold stuff messes me up. Messes up my asthma. Anybody else like that? Don't like cold drinks? Our opponent is taking quite a bit of time. Bam, 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 bam. I like this owl guy. He's pretty sweet. Do we still lag out the game if we click him a bunch? They had to have fixed that by now, right? Alright, backwater. So, how do I want to run this? I think we'll run out... Kind of run out the Simic Guild Gate first, just to get it out of our hand and out of the way. Uh, on someone I don't think is going to be super relevant turn two here. Uh, but next turn we'll be able to play an island or just play our breeding pool. Probably wait on the breeding pool for now. Just play an island, hold them to gate, raise and borrower, all that stuff. We'll just slow them down. Then opt. All right. <clears throat> so we've gotten unsummoned, we've gotten opt. See what they do here. Narset, definitely gonna counter that. Do not like that card. Definitely worth countering. Alright, so we're still gonna hold off playing our breeding pool till absolutely necessary. We still have a bunch of stuff we can do here. Frilled Mystic, counter stuff. May want to hang on to that to protect our, our night bush. Night bush? Night pack. They are playing slow as hell. I love this island. Looks so cool. So this could be some kind of control, possibly. Love to get some pressure down. Body racer. Body racer. Ugh. Sure, go ahead. Take a look at my hand. Now you know I'm Simic Flash. I could opt in to try to find a counter spell. I don't think it's really worth it. Chances are they're just gonna take our night push ambusher, night pack ambusher. Potentially. A lot of good, a lot of good cards to choose from. Definitely a top pick though. Yep. So what to do? Do I flash in Brazen Borrower or just start getting damage in? I think I'm going to do that, actually. We're just going to go for Brazen and start applying some pressure. And we will put in the Breeding Pool. We will pay the two life because we're going to hold up that Frilled Mystic. Which they can play around a little bit, but so be it. Sorry he's playing so slow. Holy crap, it's like I'm playing on MTGO. Arena shouldn't take this slow for people to play. Snap, snap, snap. Can you guys hear my clicking? Lots of land. Lots of land. Pass them to me. Alright, so we're gonna opt. 
now the murderous rider. Mm, I could unsummon, and then they lose their murderous rider. I think that's fair. They won't have a target, so this will go bye bye. Uh, don't want land anymore, so we'll do something else here. Another Simic Guild Gate, huh? Play that out, and we'll pass. We don't have a lot of pressure besides these two things, and they lose the creature over that unsummoned play, so... Can't get it out of the graveyard, you can only get it out of exile. Alright, looks like they're gonna maybe be setting up for a counter here. We're still gonna ta toss this in, see what happens. Alright, Wild Preserver is actually really good in this situation, because we can start pumping him up quite a bit. As long as we draw creatures. Yeah, draw creatures. So we do Wildborn Preserver, end of turn, and then if we ever play a Frilled Mystic, we can pump them up, pump them up like twice. I'm surprised we haven't seen any counter spells yet. That's pretty desperate. Honestly. It's like really desperate. So I'm gonna throw this down. We're gonna start getting him going. Pass the turn. Time wipe that early, huh? Just for one Brazen Borrower. Maybe they're trying to bait out my Frilled Mystic, but I, I could care less. You can kill my Brazen, we got other stuff coming. We're still a pretty creature-heavy deck, so... Not too concerned. We'll, we'll draw into more creatures. And that's all we want to do now, too. We'll opt into another creature. Man, they are slow. Man, do they have a lot of lands. Let's opt. Let's see what happens. Another Field Mystic is pretty good. I think we'll keep that. And I don't think we're going to play it yet, though. We're just going to go ahead and go to our turn. Okay, we got all the counter spells now, which is fantastic. Thought Erasure. So, this is where... Hmm... Sinister? Why do you want to look at my hand so bad? You know what? Screw it. You can look at me. You can take one of my counter spells. It's fine. You have perfect information. That's fine. Because I don't know what they're planning on doing. But, you know. Don't really want to... Do anything too hasty here. Pass the turn. We're getting them down, slowly but surely. They're waiting to play something. Maybe a Teferi. But now we have mana up for Frilled Mystic and Sinister Sabotage. So whatever we're going to do, we're going to fight over it. See, like... We're going to do Sinister Sabotage first. See, I don't know why they did that. We're going to dump that to the graveyard. Really want to apply pressure here, but uh, we're going to wait. Another negate, that's excellent. Attack for another two. Slowly but surely. They're going for some desperate plays here. 
I've beaten this card every time it's come up so far. I've already played against this card like three times. Not bad though, and it's funny too, because even if like there's nothing else we can do, like we can get our guys pumped up to like plus four so we can draw a card too. Like Akaya's Wrath? Why? Now I think I'm gonna do this. Counter. We're gonna take the action, we're gonna pay one. And then we'll have negate up. So what was your plan there? You got my Frilled Mystic out of my hand, now what? Now we have six damage on board. It's very, boom, you're done. Perfect plays. They're mad. They waited. They were waiting so long for that Teferi. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Too bad we didn't have a creature. We could have just killed him this turn. If we had a creature, we could have flashed it in and pumped up Wildborn Preserver, but it's all right. Uh, now we just got to dodge a couple other destroy target creatures or something like that, but we got an unsummon. We can unsummon, bring something back into hand. Uh, draw, whenever you draw a card, whenever it attacks, discard a card against Hexproof. This doesn't help you. Yeah, you're, you're dead. I don't... Just unsummon it. Even if they make a hexproof, then we just have the board anyways. Cool. All right, we'll play one more game here. I know it's going a little bit longer, but you know what? We're doing pretty good. Let's run it back. Game right away. Boom. No waiting this time. Um. Yeah, we can we can keep this. We got some some things to do, but we can keep it. All right, this is probably gonna be the uh, Iliad Heliad combo. Probably gonna do some kind of Heliad thing. Yeah, well, that'll resolve. This one might be a tough one for us. It typically is. Do I want a Brazen Borrower? Yeah. Got three lands. I think I will grab it. We got our work cut out for us here, though. Let's go double blue. Pass. Hold up negate. Hold up a couple spectral sailors and brazen borrower. Hmm. <laughs> Don't really want to bounce the pride mate yet. So I think we'll just take four here. Probably be bouncing him next turn though. Another night pack, that's pretty dang good. I can dig it. say no attacks because I can just chump block these guys and get them off the field if I really want to and I think we will be brazen borrowing this Ajani uh, unless we're going to be countering something pretty big just depends uh, that's pretty gnarly it's pretty gnarly Just attacking in with him, okay. That resolves, that resolves. Let's boop him. Get him back to hand. And now, pay the two. Don't really want to, but we kind of have to here. Pass. We'll start playing out our night pack ambushers. Hopefully catch a few things off guard. Pride mate, sure. Primate's gonna get big really fast though. Really fast. Perfect. Oh, I'm eating you. I am gonna eat you. Hopefully they don't have any other tricks up their sleeve, but I kinda have to go for it here, get her off the field. 
She's uh, pretty nasty. Let's see if they have any buffs or anything. Oh, they can get protection. Oh, they can sack and get protection. Okay. I forgot that this card did this. So be it. Alright. Well, we are just gonna pass, as we do. We get a token. And we'll see what happens. Love to get down another night pack ambusher. Which would be we'd be in great shape if we can do that. We have to counter that though. We definitely have to counter that. <laughs> No siree. We're not letting you have that. Frill Mystic. Think think we'll keep that on top. It's decent. Hmm. Okay. Everything's getting bigger. Not pretty. Make another token. You can have that, sure. That's fine. They'll get a land card, they'll get a wall next turn. Not a big deal, we can beat their walls really fast. Pass to the attack. Alright. We'll resolve. We'll resolve. Let's go ahead and dump one of these down. And we'll go ahead and chump here. Three mana, one card. Yeah, we'll just chump here. Uh, they can give it indestructible, so be it. We're going to start bouncing some stuff next turn. We're just going to exhaust them. Cool. I can't do anything. And... Yeah, no attacks yet. No attacks yet. We're just going to make a lot of a lot of tokens. Start seeing this night, night pack ambusher going off. It's really nice. Alright, they got another land. Creatures you control gain indestructible. Cast a spell, put a counter on each of those creatures that gain a vigilance. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and negate that. I don't want that. That's their last card. So now they gotta decide if they wanna concede. Because we definitely have the upper hand here. Even if they start attacking in, we got a brazen bar to bounce the pride mate, we can start chump blocking. We can just start swinging in for days, so. Hey, we got the life gain. Uh, Scary Heliod was countered, and they weren't able to combo off, and we let them go empty-handed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Simic Flash. Super fun deck to play. Like I said, I love playing this in paper. It, it's a lot of fun, so. Uh, if you guys do enjoy, like I said, at the beginning of the video, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know you want to see more. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and we will see you guys in the next one.